In today's demonstration, we're going to look at an AirPod snubber. Um, this is the, before I show the demonstration, I want to just show the snubber by itself. Um, so there's a, a cylinder with a piston inside and a rod that gets struck by the load that we're going to decelerate. There's also adjustment for the damping. And so that, uh, this adjustment screw would be changed depending on how fast the mass was moving and how much mass. So as I push my finger in there, I get damping. Let me show you the uh, demonstrator. I have it on its side here because it's kind of tall. But here at the bottom, we have the snubber. And the snubber is just different from the one I just showed you because it doesn't have the, uh, the rubber sleeve around the side. So you can actually see the piston and the return spring inside. And uh, this steel ball here is going to fall by gravity and hit the snubber rod. So let's give it a try. Turn it vertically there. So I'm just going to drop the ball, let it fall by gravity. And you can see it lands very softly. Now, uh, I'm going to turn down the damping so you can see what it would be like if there were no uh, snubber. lower. So you can see it lands, you know, much more violently and, and the ball bounces when it's under damped. If the snubber, if I turn up the adjustment, increase the damping coefficient, the air is not going to be able to escape fast enough and we're going to end up bouncing on an air column. So you can see bouncing on the air column. So the original adjustment was, was the correct one, to just slow down the ball, give the minimum landing velocity um, without either bouncing off the stop or bouncing on an air column. Thanks for watching.